Hey everyone, thank you for choosing this project on recommendation systems. I am Shorya Upper, data scientist expert associated with Project Pro. I have also few other projects listed on the platform for which I have added the links to the end of this document. Through which these links and these projects you would be able to learn in the field of NLP. That is number one. From number two and three, you would be able to learn in the field of time series forecasting. Moving back to our project, this particular project, this particular project is titled as Flipkart e-commerce recommendation systems with graphs. The word, uh, the company name Flipkart is used so that it is more relatable to the audience and the learners. While this particular project can be applied to any e-commerce platform, be it Amazon, be it Shopee, be it uh, Gojek or anything, any e-commerce platform, this particular project uh, of recommendation systems with graph can be applied. For simplicity and our learning, I have used Flipkart as a target company for whom we would be uh, building this recommendation systems with graphs. Flipkart is one of the largest e-commerce platform with millions of products listed, 100 million plus Play Store downloads and uh, millions of daily active users. To improve user experience with personalization, improve diversity and boost sales, a state of the a state of the art recommendation system is much needed. So our goal by end of this project is to understand how graph recommendation systems work, how do and how we will be able to build a recommendation system on e-commerce platform. The business objective of this project is to improve user experience with personalization, improve platform diversity and discovery of long tail products. Now some of you would ask what does long tail mean over here? Long tail is a business strategy that allows companies to realize significant profit by selling low volumes of hard to find items to many customers. Something like uh, if Flipkart is selling a wheelchair, so it's a long tail product, not everyone needs it. But if some uh, Flipkart is selling, uh, let's say Giloy juice or something which helps to boost immunity from COVID, that kind of products are very popular on the platform. So instead of showing more popular items, the long tail strategy is to sell items which sell very less and gain more profit th through those. So it, it also improves the diversity and discovery of products which sell very less. I highly recommend you to go through this Investopedia link and understand uh, the business strategy of uh, long tail. There is also a book on long tail. Uh, it's mentioned in this link. You can go through that. Now understanding how does a user journey works on an e-commerce platform and what data inputs we would have uh, from, e uh, from Flipkart's data. So in an e-commerce platform, a user, there are three main components. A user comes on the website, e-commerce website or app. A user goes from home page to different product pages. We name uh, the short form of product pages PDP. I would be often using this term PDP. Uh, and at once a user comes on the product page, he may or may not add that item to cart. But let's say if they add that item to cart, the user journey will go like this. So from home page to a page where a phone is selling, that is the product page of a phone. From that page, the user adds that item to the cart and from cart, the product is purchased. So that is called as transaction. So there are three main components. One is PDP view, add to cart, that is ATC and transaction of that product. So three main components of a user journey on an e-commerce platform. So these would be inputs for us. Uh, in the next video, we would be talking about data description, 